All right. Good morning. Good morning. Here we are again. All right. Um, so yeah, I hope hopefully everyone had a happy Thanksgiving. Um, back for Monday morning. Coffee Chronicles here. Um, just spitballing some thoughts, ideas, and yeah, I got a few thoughts in my mind to share um, from the weekend, and mostly have to do with travel. Right. Um, so my family, we went down to Vegas for Thanksgiving and got to hang out down there and it was good. Um, but man, you get, that was our first, I'm going to call it like extended vacation that we've taken that I've taken from the gym in probably three or four years and more than you know, yeah, we take, I might take a Friday off or something sometimes to get like a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but, um, we did Tuesday to Sunday and <clears throat> definitely one of my longest breaks from the gym, which is really nice, but you, you quickly remember how, um, how powerful and how appreciated, uh, routine is, um, seems like, you know, those longer vacations, especially when it's not something you're typically used to, I think are, are definitely hard on a guy or gal's um, health routine. And it definitely was for ours. Um, you know, it, we, we were up moving, of course, you know, walking a lot and going back and forth from the house to the place we were staying and did some fun things. But like, I really only trained I got a good hard workout in one day, which I had higher aspirations to do a little bit more. But um, again, it was kind of like, you know, pick, pick your, choose your battles and do things that you need to do that you'd already committed to doing. I mean, we went golfing, you know, that's active. We went caught a hockey game. That was fun. You know, we did lots of different stuff. Um, so it wasn't like I just necessarily sat around and, and drank and or sat around and just you know ate like dog shit all weekend or all week but we did have some good we had a couple good meals you know had a couple bad meals um not bad as bad food just unhealthy probably but um ultimately you just again it made me really appreciate and think about just it's good to get back into my routine be back home um because again habits and consistency i know are what are gonna you know breed and you know produce results in long term i mean the habits are what people need to have to be successful right um and i can tell you mentally i was probably struggling with not training more than i was physically in some capacity right it was probably okay for my body to take a little break um have a couple of days off here or there but Mentally, you know, I really wanted to do do something more um, each day. The other thing I noticed, and I, I've known this before, but you just when you don't do something, or when it actually happens, then you realize, okay, like, yeah, it makes a point. So, even if I would not have trained, maybe the way I, I would have liked, even a little bit more some light movement, some, you know, maybe some more body weight push-ups, air squats, lunges, sit-ups, stuff like zero equipment, five minutes, set the clock, and just do movement for five minutes. If I would have done maybe a few more of those types of workouts, I think I would have felt even better mentally and physically. And and here's what I mean by the physically part. I didn't really lose, you're not going to lose fitness doing what I just did. Um, like, it's not going to really affect me. Like, today I might have a hard workout. That's probably from, like, you know, the way I ate and drank more than it is not working out. But ultimately, the next thing is, like, what I noticed is, like, the two or three days, because I kind of split up, like, that one good workout I was in, you know, we traveled all day Tuesday. Wednesday, I didn't do anything. Thursday, I worked out. And then Friday, I didn't do anything except for golf Saturday we went and did um you know that was a hockey game day so I did a few like little body weight stuff some some push-ups and some air squats nothing crazy um but 
if I would have done more of just the body weight stuff each day, I would have felt a lot better overall. Again, because what I noticed is how much blood flow and movement makes me feel just a little bit better. Um, and not, again, not like some crazy wad or this intense thing, but just a little bit of like almost like a little just pump, right? I mean, maybe I should have packed a band or something, but like I noticed my wrists, my elbows, um, and, you know, even like my, my lower back were kind of just like, hey, like we want you to get out of the car. We want you to move. We want you to do this because we did do a lot of driving. Um, and, yeah, I'm just ready to get back to moving. And I just, again, it just, you know, this podcast today or video today is more just about reminding everybody that it's not the end of the world if you do take a couple of days off. It's not the end of the world if you don't have a few good meals or if you have a couple bad meals. But ultimately, again, what we need to be focusing on is the consistency of which we attack things that are going to make us better. And again, speaking from my own failures this week is I should have done a few more just very short, small workouts, right? Um, but we stayed up too late or we were doing stuff with the kids or, or whatever, right? There's a million excuses. But those aren't going to get me where I want to be. Um, and I know that. So ultimately, again, if you go to travel, especially because the holidays aren't over, you know, we still got a few more weeks of this um, stuff. We got Christmas coming up now next and, you know, the New Year's. It's just going to be a whirlwind for a lot of people, especially if you're on the road traveling. If you are doing something on the road, just set a clock, grab your phone, set a clock, pick, pick something under 10 minutes, five minutes, eight minutes, seven minutes, whatever, something under 10, 10 minutes or less, make it an AMRAP, make the reps, you know, appropriate and do two to three movements and just rep it out for less than 10 minutes. Each day, I think that's a good recipe for just to do something, right? Um, and again, if you, if you want, if you are feeling even like you got more aspirations to do something a little bit harder, go to the the room at the at the hotel. It's got the dumbbells. There's going to be some type of equipment available. It's just a matter of getting you there, right? And then maybe getting up or staying up later, getting up earlier or staying up later than the activities that you have planned for the day. I know that's something that affected me is, um, you know, by the time I got up and got out of bed and stuff, you know, basically Kyler and the kids were up and ready to roll too and needing it, you know, kids needing attention. And then same thing. They, we had some late nights, mainly um, just trying to get them down and, and, you know, do all the things. So again, stay moving. It helps, right? You know, that's why you got these sayings like motion is lotion and, you know, all that stuff. Movement is medicine because it does make you feel better. Um, and ultimately, I should have moved more while I was gone, but I didn't. And here we are. It's Monday. It's a new week. Ready to get after it. And, yeah, we'll talk next week. You guys have a good week. Um, if you are a member, real quick of our gym. Just be look, on the lookout. We'll be sending out the monthly newsletter for December tomorrow um, and give you guys some updates on programming and how we're going to be doing some stuff there. And I think that's all I got. Really excited. Besides, if you remember, also you need to sign up for the holiday party ASAP. And yeah, if you guys like this videos, like, subscribe. Appreciate it.